weird wise anytime somebody asks me to field them in i you know it's always like oh i i work with snakes i, I never say that i'm in the herpetology field because initially as soon as i hear herpetology they always relate it to I don't know if really quick, can this be on there? It's, it's, it's like literally they always relate it to STDs. My name is Jason McGee and I'm a snake wrangler. The first time I was involved with snakes, I was probably about five years old. I was out on a hiking trip with my dad. We were on a dirt road, pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. I was sitting on his lap pretending to you know, drive the car he was driving and I was just staring and as a little boy that was like the greatest thing ever. And I remember looking out the window and seeing a rosy boa coming down a cut, like a rock cut on the side of a side of a hill. And um, I completely aborted the whole entire mission of steering the car and literally jumped out the window, crawled up the side of the hill and, and grabbed the snake and that was really kind of kind of what got me hooked, the rush of finding that snake. And that was that was the first snake I had actually saw on my own. The scariest encounter I ever had, it was on a property inspection in New Orleans. I had gotten a call. The people had found a rattlesnake drinking water out of their dog bowl. When I got in the property, the rattlesnake had crawled away. I did a full property inspection, and a lot of times when, when you're doing these property inspections, you tend to focus in front of you and on the ground and around you on the ground. You don't tend to focus high level in branches and that kind of thing. And so I was walking along a hedge. I heard, a, I heard a rattle, I heard the buzz start going, and I looked directly 10 inches in front of me and there was a rattlesnake with the, his head poking out of the ivy inches away from my face. That, that kind of got the blood going a little bit. That was probably the most nerve wracking moment I've had. Um, what, what I hope to accomplish with this is just help people understand these snakes and let them recognize that they're not these terrible creatures that are gonna slither after them and eat them. I would love to be able to save some snakes, keep them in nature, keep them in the ecosystems, and let them live their lives out and teach people to coexist with snakes. If I can accomplish that, I'm happy. You know, it's, it's doing good for the community and it's doing good for an animal I love. That means a lot to me.